learn how to create your virtual machine in VMware. First of all, to create a virtual machine, you have two applications available. One is Oracle VirtualBox and second is VMware. So what I use for now is VMware Workstation. But one thing guys, it's a paid app. So as you can see, the icon on the desktop, it's for VMware Workstation. Now, when I start this, you can see an option in front of here saying create a new virtual machine. So if I click here, it gives me two options. One says typical and second says custom. What's the difference? In typical, VMware already has predefined settings, but in custom, you can define your own preferred settings. So what I select is custom. Nothing big. It just shows the version of the current application. Now it is asking for the operating system. I select the third option which says I will install the OS later because I will first change the settings as per my preference and later on provide the operating system. Now this step is much important because over here you need to select the operating system that would be present in your virtual machine. So in our case we are trying to install the server so I will select Microsoft Windows and I have 2012 and 2016 so for now it is 2016. You can give your virtual machine a name and also the path where the machine will get stored. Obviously the firmware would be BIOS and over here are the harvest settings. I don't think so we need to change it much but yes just to make it quick a bit faster I'll give it 4 GB RAM. You can assign any amount you wish to but make sure your physical device that means your laptop or your desktop has the sufficient RAM. Rest are the network settings or you may say the hardware settings which I do not wish to change as of now. So I keep all the settings as default. Disk it says will utilize 60 GB. One thing it will not fully utilize 60 GB but this is the maximum value assigned to your VM. It will utilize as much space as required whenever required not 60 GB at once. Now I go to customize hardware. I give it a network adapter card and in my case I give it VMNet 2. Now what is this? You can keep your machines in different networks that means different VM nets. Let us assume I have a machine in VMNet 2 and I have a machine in VMNet 3. Since they are different VM net hence my machines won't communicate with one another. That means keeping them in the same VM net will allow communication and keeping them in different VM net will not allow communication. And finally here comes the operating system. So you use the ISO image. So you need to download the ISO image first and once when you have downloaded you can simply select the ISO image. If it is not visible in the drop down button you can browse and select the ISO image from the desired path. Now finally if I click on finish you see that the machine is ready but right now it is powered off. So to power it on I click over here and you would be able to see that the machine is now booting up. Language and time zone as per your preference. Now the, you can see a lot of options but we talk about the first two. The first option you select this option if you do not 
wish to have a GUI server. That means this option is for those who are looking for the CLI, that means server core. And the second option is for GUI, that means you will get the graphics, icons, animations, everything. So what we select for now is desktop experience, that means server with a GUI. You will select custom because right now you are installing, you are not upgrading. So I go to custom. You can create multiple partitions over here, but for now we are not creating any partition. We'll learn how to create partitions in the upcoming videos. And now you see the installation has started. So need to have some patience. And once when the installation is done, you will be having the server installed.